You're telling me that the king of a third world country runs around in a bulletproof cat suit? With the $100 million sophomore weekend, I guess it's safe to say there are some people who didn't see Black Panther last weekend. Weird, right? <laughs> A good man. Step into the spotlight. It's a good heart. And it's hard for a good man to be a king. After a record-breaking debut, Black Panther continues to beat expectations at the box office, bringing in a stellar $108 million in its sophomore weekend. That's more than half what it made last week. Also, Black Panther is now one of just four films to make $100 million in its second weekend, alongside Star Wars Episode VII, Jurassic World, and The Avengers. At the foreign box office, Black Panther has brought in upwards of $300 million and still hasn't opened in three of the world's biggest movie markets, China, Russia, and Japan. For now, Black Panther is one of the top 10 highest grossing superhero films ever. But many analysts don't see any reason why this box office bullet train will slow down. So the sky's the limit for King T'Challa. And with that, on to number two. What is the name of the purple Teletubby? Tinky Winky. You're both correct. <laughs> he always carried a... Red purse. Ooh, I'm a rebel just for kicks now. Taking the number two spot this week is Game Night, bringing in an estimated $16.6 .6 million in its debut weekend. That's a more than solid opening for any comedy, much less a comedy dealing with Black Panther mania. I don't know if you know this, but you have 88% on Rotten Tomatoes, which is good. Yeah, these movies do not uh, traditionally get reviewed well. But what may be even more impressive about this Jason Bateman-led action comedy is the certified fresh Rotten Tomato score. This movie's terrific. This movie oh, is super God. funny. This is the best, I think, American studio comedy, at least since Girls Trip. That said, Girls Trip went on to gross nearly $140 million before its box office run ended, so Game Night may not do quite that well, even if it's just as good of a film. Falling to number three this week is Peter Rabbit, bringing in an estimated $12.5 million in its third week out. As for next week, Katniss is all grown up and seducing Russians? You'll be trained in psychological manipulation. You must learn to push yourself beyond all limitations. 